Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are really amazing. We're about to get to 22,000 subscribers and we're gonna get there soon with your help. So today we're gonna do a reaction video and this one right here is Indo sister Amuta asked many questions. Why is in Islam no caste system? I don't know what that is, but uh, this is from Zaki Nike. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Yes, sister, most welcome. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Amuta. I'm working in Indian Embassy. So I just want, I have a lot of questions, but for time being, I'm saying little bit questions. So in Islam, why there is no caste system? Yes, sister. Okay, my second question. Sister, ask the first question. Okay. After I reply, then we can ask the second question. Okay, fine. Give me the answer. Sister, ask the question, why in Islam there's no caste system? Because in Islam, we believe that all the human beings are equal, unlike in Hinduism. Quran says, Quran says in Surah Hujurat, chapter 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa ja'alnaakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila litarafu inna khalaqnaakum in the law yatkaakum inna la alimun khabir O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other, not you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person as taqwa the criteria for judgment in the sight of Almighty God for a human being to be superior to the other human being it's not sex, it's not caste, it's not color, it's not wealth, it's not age but it is taqwa, it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. The only way one human being can be superior to the other human being it's not by wealth, it's not by age, it's not by sex but it is by piety, it is by God consciousness, it is by righteousness. Unlike Hinduism, when we read the Vedas, it's mentioned that Almighty God, He created the Brahmin class, the learned class from the head. That's the first caste. Then He created the warrior class, the Kshatriyas, from the chest. Then from His stomach and thighs, He created the business community, the Vaishyas. And from the feet, He created the Shudras, that's the untouchables, that's the lower caste. So this is what is mentioned in the Vedas. In Islam, we believe that all the human beings are equal. We don't believe that one human being is superior to the other human being because of birth, because of profession, because of wealth, because of color, because of caste. So Islam is a universal religion. Unlike in the Vedas, what they say that you have to stick to your profession because it was mainly controlled by the Brahmins, which is again small percentage, minute percentage. And they say that if you're born as a Shudra, you remain a Shudra, you serve the Brahmin, next life maybe you may become a better person. No, this is all ideology. So that, you know, they want to keep the person low, person will remain low, and the rich and the top people remain top. In Islam, we believe in equality. And Islam is religion for all the human beings. That is the reason Islam is against caste system. Hope that answers the question, sister. Okay, sir, I have one more doubt. So, why you are saying uh, the Muslim is Sayyid Muslim or Sunni Muslim or Shia? So, what is that? Sister said that, why am I saying Sayyid Muslim and Shia Muslim Sunni? I never said Sayyid Muslim. Shia. Muslim is the one who submits his will to Almighty God. In Islam, there is no sect. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 103, Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. There is no Sayyid Muslim and Sunni or this? Yes, the family. Fine, you may belong to a family. You may belong to a Sheikh family. You may belong to Sayyid family. To know your roots, that does not mean a person is superior. A Khan is superior to a Sheikh or a Sayyid. No. It is belonging to your roots. Like how you may come from some family so that you have come from particular land or particular area. If you have come from Kokan region. So this is family background. 
it doesn't mean one person is superior to the other the only way one human being can be superior to the other human being is by piety is by righteousness is by god consciousness hope that answers the question sister okay second question why in islam when marriages no horoscope is seen sister asks the question that why in islam during marriages no horoscope is seen because sister we don't believe in horoscope Yes, sister, I'll come to it. I will tell you what Hinduism says, because I studied Hinduism. In Hinduism, they believe in horoscope, Kundli, Kundli, you know Kundli. Yeah, I know. I It's know. called Kundli. Yes, you know, sister. When Kundli, you tell your date of birth, then they say that this sun was there, and this shagun, and this this grahan came. This is a science, but this science is not established science. It's a hypothesis. It says that if you are born on this date. then this grahan comes and this planet goes there and this it is a science but it's not a established science it's not hard science like what we read in our college biology physiology embryology it is what they believe it's an assumption and then they talk about future everything what they mention the kundli does not come out to be true we in islam are against fortune telling quran says in surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 90 Ya alladhina amanu innam al-khamru wal-maisuru oh you believe most certainly intoxicant and gambling wal anzab wal aslamu dedication of stones divination of arrows rishum min amali shaitan these are certain handiwork fast tani bula lakum tuflihun abstain from this handiwork that may prosper quran says this fortune telling divination of arrows they are certain handiwork abstain from it that may prosper so in islam we do not believe in this many a time you go in a machine you put your date of birth then it comes out there something good is going to happen to you in the next one week even if 100 bad thing happen one good thing will surely happen the next person goes it comes horoscope something bad is going to happen in the next one month so these are statements that are made which are so ambiguous and all this you know parrot goes and picks up a parrot goes and picks up a chit and you come to know your kundli or your future So in Islam we don't believe a parrot can pick up and tell you what is your future or by reading the palm or looking at the stars Islam is against this and many a time you get fooled into believing that it is true and there was a research done that once a psychologist he was teaching a class class of 100 students and after one week he said now i have understood your background everything i will write about each individual person about his past and everything but don't open the chit until i tell you so he wrote to all 100 students details about the past then he said okay now open the chits and give me gradation how much am i accurate believe me more than 95% of the students said the professor was more than 90% correct the secret was the professor wrote the same thing for everyone these are such ambiguous statement what we have to realize sister islam is against fortune telling against knowing about the future that is the reason there is no kundli required if the kundli was there yet we find that so many marriages are being broken in hinduism why what we believe that we have to choose our life partner and our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it's mentioned in sahih hadith that whenever you choose your life partner you look for four things beauty wealth nobility and virtue the best is virtue the best to choose for my life partner is a virtuous life partner not kundli whether born in october september doesn't make a difference the virtue should match that is the reason a woman in islam sister is called as a muhsana muhsana in arabic means a fortress against the devil in other religions including hinduism the woman is referred as an instrument of a devil in quran the woman is referred as a muhsana in arabic it means a fortress against the devil so if you marry a virtuous woman Inshallah she will prevent the husband from going in the wrong track hope that answers the question sister If you like this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos What was like casting uh, sister Uh, like he explained if you paid attention like there are certain people that are created is it from 
he pointed at four different parts of the body. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like that going down. So these ones are up there, mm -hmm. those ones there, mm -hmm. and then cast the below, mm -hmm. the untouchables. So that just, it's like in Kenya, you just have those people that you call untouchable. Maybe they kikuyus or something. Not mm -hmm. that I'm saying that, you know. Mm, okay. And they're quite poor. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they make it in life or not. So there is that. But why would, whatever God they believe in, why would a God create people in such a way? So exactly. these ones will forever be poor. Because, Do you understand? Because what he said is like in Islam, everyone is equal. Yeah. But again, we can agree to disagree on that one. I mean, in God's eyes, yes, everyone is equal. But um, but imagine not wanting to interact with someone because yes, they're from that yes. group. Yes. Now, because in Islam, um, because he or she is not associated with this so I'm not I'm not in a position to comprehend what he says or understand what he says or even trying to exchange uh, knowledge together because of you know because of I think that my religion is is the best so already you're putting yourself at a pedestal where you're higher than them. Is it not true? If you say my religion is better than yours? Yes. I mean... Somehow, but then I mean, you're still interacting with those people. Like, Do you understand? You're not just you, pushing them away. Yeah. Like the outsiders. Mm -hmm. Like they stink. Like they're just the worst to ever exist. Do you understand? So the caste system really makes these people feel bad about themselves. Bad about what they're born into. Ah, okay. I think it's just the, the I, I think it's, it's it's a way of I think it's like saying it's, it was a sorry to cut you short I think it was like, like a way of divide and conquer divide and conquer do you understand like the way you you grow up and you realize you're from this so you live your entire life having that kind of mindset that you know they're this sort of people and this sort of people trust me when I was born and when I was in that um toddler age or probably trying to grow up i used to think that like that maybe some of these rich people are evil and all this kind of stuff you understand like money is just evil you get it so but i realized it's not as what you think it's just the mindset it's what they showed you on the on the television and whatnot so i think it's just the same way and india is is um is well known for this divide and and conquer if not divide and conquer there are some layers of people you know like there are people who are known to be that this, this the, the light-skinned ones and the dark-skinned ones so the dark-skinned ones are the poor ones and the light-skinned ones are the rich ones so automatically when you're born into a dark skin you th you in your mindset you already put yourself at that position but this is how i'm thinking it's all here in your mind you can come out of that to even become more better than these ones. But then it means you but have again, to remove yourself from that environment. Exactly, you know. But again, but then you're poor. They, you just sweep the words. Yes, understand? but the thing is, are these ones going going to allow you to be part of them? Be rich. Yes. That's the thing. Because some of these people suppress you from even moving up. True. And it's so unfortunate that we live in a world where. Uh, you have the potential, you have the knowledge, you have the mind, but they don't want you to go up because if you go up, you're going to show those people down there that you know what, look at me. I'm like you and I'm up here, so you can be like me if you just try to think like this. Do you understand? So uh, it's a good, I mean, it's a good build up, but another thing. What's a good build up? Whatever. The um, caste system. No. I mean, what we're discussing. Okay. There's one thing I really want to kind of horoscopes? disagree. Yes. About the um, horoscopes. These are things that I think it goes way, 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 way back. back, back completely because most of our ancestors used to practice this, used to follow. They used but to they try. Quite horoscopes. 
if you're going to go to ancestors no i mean hor horoscopes i mean okay there's a group of a tribe in mali called the um what's the name oh i read about them yeah they're called what i forgot the name if anyone knows in the comment section please just let me know but i'll remember it in a few minutes so now this group believes that they come from the stars and for decades they have been way way back they have been looking at the stars and following the stars but because the world is changing and everything is changing there's a small sector of people who are, who have remained and they follow the stars and to them it works and i'm not totally saying that it, it works for everyone but it's just when you put your belief in that and your faith in whatever you can become but what i'm trying to say is this um it, he also talked about islam doesn't agree with fortune tellers or oh, they don't believe someone can talk of the future, future you no know? but now you know i'll be so mad when i open sakin Naik's phone and i see there is weather there's weather there's weather uh <laughs> there's yeah, weather it. up there yeah. because a a anyone wants to know what's going to happen tomorrow with the weather yeah true or false he's having a gathering there doesn't he want to see <laughs> he's traveling to probably another country maybe it's an <laughs> open air argument. it's an open air you would want to tell the people and oh, please just check the weather but again in your beliefs you don't believe in that so i think that's out of context and uh, but then what instrument are these people using to measure your future predict your future now um he, he's talking about science we cannot deny that science has played a major role in our society today and um, no even even uh the quran has you know mentioned one or two things even the bible is a book of more like astrology and whatnot that's what i can i don't want to go deep into that but i believe that there's something that we don't know if we know we're going to become even much higher people you understand and it might be coming out from the quran even zaki knight i'm sure he knows such kind of things but it's it's it's, it's the knowledge of the higher people you know i'm sure zaki knight sits down with people who they are higher with with, with 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 him you know at a higher table in a, anywhere you go there's a higher table there's a what so in this context do we say that god has its favorite or God picks who wants to become the Imam, the Sheikh. You know, how did Zakir Naik become Dr. Zakir Naik? Yeah, so sorry, yeah, Dr. Zakir Naik become uh, what he is today. Was it a God's uh, calling? Does it mean God's picked him up? So is that saying that God was biased enough not to pick just anyone but Zakir Naik? Do you understand or anyone else who talks to the people so it's really arguable like if you sit down and start thinking but then he did, uh, i don't think he best his him being a speaker mm -hmm. of horoscopes though yes i, I know understand. yeah i know yes i i i know that but the, the thing is but then what i want to ask you is what's the difference mm -hmm. you go to someone who reads these horoscopes things mm -hmm. and tells you you'll be the best oh. photographer on mm -hmm. earth to ever live mm -hmm. do you understand and then your mother told you the same thing mm -hmm. what's the difference there's no and, and it comes to be there's no you know everyone has intuition you know you can walk to a man today and he tells you you're a great man and just by you hearing that you become great you know people want to hear positive things it's just that if you know when someone puts that kind exactly. of thing in your mind so when you, you hear something becoming, positive mm -hmm. it registers in your mind yes. and sometimes it comes mm -hmm. to be but again it's different when you hear it from different people how is it that is it a coincidence that everyone says that you're going to become this or that you know so is it that they you they uh Allah or God or the universe is trying to give you a hint of who you're going to be. 
So there are things that connect us to the one and I feel like I feel like we are we are still at a place where we don't know to be honest. If we if we it, it's it's really hard to comprehend but things like what Sakinaik is saying that it's not in the I mean Islam is prohibiting other people um, have practiced it and it's working for them you know people are practicing Islam and it's working for them other Christianity and it's working for them so it's a matter of just are you believing in what you want to believe in and at the end we will know maybe death is the awakening that's where the the true um, opening comes in like you realize that this is what it is wow you know see so um, I mean the lady was asking good questions no doubt yeah her questions were quite interesting and she actually converted after this uh, concerning the caste system I think I love the fact that it doesn't exist everywhere mm -hmm. but even if it doesn't exist the way it does in India I feel like everywhere you go that those there's, classes exactly it's, no it's, matter it's the class. situation yeah. uh, either way I'm trying to appreciate Islam here where they yes. will come everyone they yes. don't care if you're don't tall, care whether you, yes. you're short yeah I, li I like your that chocolate you're yes. pink you're orange yes. you're wooden yes you know what that will come in everyone yes so his response to that question about the caste system was the best yeah. You don't have to. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I feel like I'm too rich to play with. To mingle with, you know. With this person. Yeah. I'm always going to be that person. You know what? Let's see what this person has to offer. Although I'm the person that won't eat when I come to your house. It's still bad manners because they taught us. They, they never told you it was bad manners to eat at someone's house. Yeah, but if it makes yeah, you uh, <laughs> imagine you enter and you smell chapati and someone, yeah. no, <laughs> and you're saying no. I'm saying worried no. that guy who's watching, looking at the TV, and someone is saying <laughs> the, the food comes you're to you like this. Not to you're pretending food. that you're watching, but your mind is just on that particular food. You understand? So you yeah, don't have but, to be that person mm -hmm. that feels too special to chill with Jesse because he's got locks. Yeah. Do you understand or he walks a certain way or belongs to this class and when it comes to this horoscopes thing i was going to say you know there's different lifestyles people have chosen to go to the church and that's the lifestyle they've chosen people believe in islam that's their lifestyle and there's people that depend on horoscopes you know mm -hmm. um i don't know it works for some it doesn't work for some he said there's a statement he said believing it would be foolish something in those lines but then it's up to you to believe that you're going to be great in this life I think that was great. too bold you can't say believing that is foolish when you say that but then like, that's what I'm saying when mm. you believe in a statement it comes mm. to be yeah let us know what you guys think if there's anything you want us to react to let us know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video deuces